Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and before this Briarfest history video begins, I actually want to tell you a little more about it first, because this video is actually almost two years old now. So basically what happened is, in 2016, I really wanted to make like this ultimate Briarfest survival guide video, and just talk all about Briarfest and stuff. And I was planning on making this video go over like everything I could think of about Briarfest. But the problem is that a video that long, that takes that much editing and kind of planning and scripting out and stuff, it takes a really, really long time to do. And I just have always been so busy, I haven't had the chance to ever finish this video. I didn't even get like halfway finished on this video. I only did the very beginning part of it. But fortunately, I still have all the files for it so I figured I might as well show it to you guys. So this video is just kind of an intro to Briarfest and Briarfest history. Now it was a little outdated because I made it in 2016, so I decided to go back and update it a little bit so my audio at a couple points might sound weird because I redubbed it for more current Briarfest information. But since this video is pretty broad in general and talks about Briarfest history mostly, it isn't too outdated, and so I thought it was still worth uploading for you guys. Now one more thing before I play the little Briarfest history video. I want to ask you guys if you would be interested in seeing a bunch of like little mini kind of episodes, you could say maybe, of different Briarfest things. Instead of doing some huge survival guide Briarfest video, as much as I would love to do one, I just don't have the time for that. So instead, I'm thinking I could just do like little mini-sodes of Briarfest survival guide information and cover like a very specific topic in each video. So if you guys would be interested in little Briarfest survival guide videos that cover little certain topics, you can let me know by giving this video a like, and then you can also comment down below if there are any specific topics you'd like me to mention. I probably have most of everything already written down, but I would like to know what things you guys are really interested in seeing more about first. That's more than enough of trying to introduce this video now. So here's some information about Briarfest and some Briarfest history. What is Briarfest? Briarfest is a huge annual event that celebrates model horses and real horses. Briarfest is hosted by the company Briar Animal Creations. It is held every year at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky, USA. Briarfest is a three-day event, typically held in a weekend in July. For example, Briarfest 2018 is held on July 13th through the 15th. Although Briarfest is officially a three-day event, there are other Briarfest-related activities that are hosted by Briar which start on the Thursday before Briarfest. Brief History of Briarfest Now let's briefly go over something that doesn't seem to really be touched on in other Briarfest videos, and that is the history of Briarfest. Briarfest started in 1990, with the celebration horse being Dr. Peaches on the far lap mold. Over a thousand people attended the first Briarfest, Meanwhile, today, there are over 10,000 people that attend Briarfest annually. Briarfest has always had a celebration horse, a raffle model, and live auction models. Over the years, Briar has added in special run models, single day ticket models, silent auction models, volunteer models, store specials, and show prize models. Briarfest has always been held at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington. However, in 1991, Briarfest was actually held in four different locations at different times. These locations are Redmond, Oregon in June, York, Pennsylvania in July, Lexington, Kentucky in August, and Pomona, California in August. The celebration horse for that year was at each location, but each location had its own special raffle model. Another important time, later in Briarfest history, was the Briarfest 2008. This is a rare occurrence where Briar only produced one model on the mold Alborozo, sculpted by Bridget Ebro, in a significant run. Alborozo was a celebration horse, and they only produced 6,000 models, and then a handful of other very small runs. 
The mold was then reportedly broken by Breyer so that no more large runs of the mold could be produced. In 2009, Breyer first began the now very much anticipated Gambler's Choice or Surprise model as a Breyer Fest special run. More about the Surprise model will be explained in a different video. You can also check out the previous Breyer Fest special run speculation videos I've done in previous years in which I try to guess what the Briar Fest surprise horse model will be for that year of Briar Fest. Over the years, Briar has been continually adding different things to Briar Fest, making each one special and unique in its own way. Starting in 2002, Briar introduced a theme for each Briar Fest, the first theme being Spirit of the West. Now every year, Briar Fest has a different theme, from Blast of the Past in 2003, to Stars and Stripes theme in 2007, to the most recent Off to the Races Briarfest 2018 theme. Briarfest has become such an anticipated event that the excitement for it begins on the last day of the previous Briarfest. On the Sunday of Briarfest, the last day of Briarfest, they reveal what next year's theme is going to be with the banner at the exit of the Kentucky Horse Park, which you see while leaving Briarfest. So there you have it guys, there is the old Briarfest history video I did. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to comment down specific topics about Briarfest you'd like me to discuss next. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!